Greetings, Zero here, and welcome to something a bit different. I know, tier lists are kind of cliched, but I figured I've beaten every single type in Ruby Sapphire and Emerald, Fire Red, Leaf Green, and several ROM hacks at least once. So, I'm going to give my insights into how different types work in a mod type of a given game. Of course, you may know fairy type is there, even though it doesn't exist in Gen 3. We'll get to that later. So, this assumes you're going to use vanilla games, unless specified otherwise. Post-game move tutor moves will not be factored in. Egg moves will largely be disregarded, except unless they're really good. Pre-Hall of Fame move tutors may be factored in. And in addition to talk about how competitive a type is, we're also going to discuss some Pokemon that could be useful for a given type and how they might be useful and the team I would recommend for a given type. So, without further ado, let's begin. Well, first by explaining the, uh, the tiers. I forgot. Uh, so, first we have Dominance. Dominance are types that I consider to be overpowered. And I guess that just speaks for itself. Great are teams that are consistently good or are overpowered at some points while okay at others. Average is exactly that. They're consistently okay. They're not overpowered. They're not terrible. Subpar. These refer to types that are going to struggle at points, but with a bit of creative movesets, you could probably get through it without too much difficulty. Difficult. These refer to types that are so bad that you're probably going to rely at least on luck, a little bit of luck at some point. And then impossible. Impossible just means that you cannot get that type legitimately before facing the first gym leader. You would have to hack in an appropriate type. Or in the case of fairy type, it just doesn't exist. But I will still discuss those in the context of what you would do if you do decide to hack in a Pokemon of the appropriate type. So we're going to start with Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald first. Um, Fire Red and Leaf Green will get its own video. They're very different games. They're balanced very differently. You get different species, etc., etc. And I'm going to discuss where each team fits, give a brief overview of my reasons why, and give you a recommended team to use, well, the team you should have by the end game, which in Ruby, Saf in Ruby and Sapphire, that's beating the champion, entering the Hall of Fame. In Emerald version, that's beating Steven at Meteor Falls. So going in alphabetical order, we're going to start with bug type. This is going to difficult. It's because it has low base stat totals across the board, bad move pools, mostly oriented around support, heavily relying on TMs, it has bad type matchups throughout the game, although there are a couple of standout powerhouses. The team I recommend you run for this one is going to be Dustox, Volbeat, Heracross, Master Rain, Ninjask, and Armaldo. And for that reason, I would actually recommend doing Sapphire version for one reason and one reason only. Volbeat is much easier to get in Sapphire version than in Ruby or Emerald. Next, we move on to Dark type. Uh, dark type, I'm going to put in Average. And I would recommend either Sapphire or Emerald version. I'll get to why later. <clears throat> it's got decent type coverage. They have very few type weaknesses. And the only one that really matters is fighting. Decent movesets. Um, but the problem is that most Gen 3 dark types are physical attackers. And the dark type is always special attack, at least as far as moves go because the physical special split isn't a thing yet. Also, they're really good at inflicting status problems and have lots of potential for setup. So, the team I recommend for this is going to be Mightyena, and then either Shift Tree or Cacturn. You can't get Shift Tree in Sapphire version, but you can't get Cacturn. Sableye, this is the reason I am not recommending Ruby, because you can't get Sableye in it. Prodont, Charpedo, and Absol. Next up, we come to our first impossible type, Dragon. Because you cannot legitimately get a Dragon type before facing Roxanne. If you could, it would fit in the Dominant, because it's just overpowered. 
They are slow to, to level up, generally speaking, but they're very powerful once they're trained. And I recommend doing this inevitable version if you are going to hack stuff in, because you get to use Rick Poison Free Hall of Fame, and that's just awesome. So, the team I recommend for this is going to be Salamence, Flygon, Altaria, Shelgon, Rayquaza, and then you can pick up Latios before you face uh, Steven for the final battle. Now, there's also Kingdra, but Kingdra normally requires you to trade it while hold uh, trade a Cedra, holding a Dragon Scale to get. If you're able to do that, or if you're playing a ROM hack that removes that requirement, then by all means, replace one of the Pokemon on this list with Kingdra. It's good. Next, we have another impossible type, Electric. But if you could get access to it, it will, I would go and put it in Great. The main reason it's not it wouldn't be dominant is because it is absolutely brutal when you're taking on Roxanne. Also, uh, they tend to have very good special attack. They have very high speed. Synergize well with Rain Dance, Thunder Wave on a lot of them, and statics that can paralyze stuff. Very few physical attack options. But if you really want to do this, give yourself Chin Chow. That is the only way you're going to get past Roxanne relatively early, with relative ease. So, your final team is probably going to look like Lantern, Pikachu, Raichu, Electrode, Magneton, and Manectric. Now, a note on Pikachu. You want it to hold a light ball. This doubles its special attack power. And what this means is... Well, one, it, actually, it would actually give it a higher base special attack than Raichu, believe it or not. But there's another benefit, in Emerald version specifically. If you give a light ball to a female Pikachu, put it in the daycare, and then you have it lay an egg that hatches into a Pichu, it will hatch knowing Bolt Tackle, which is, the mo it's, I think, the most powerful Electric-type move in Gen 3. This is a unique to Emerald version. That's the reason why I suggested it. This will not work in Ruby and Sapphire. Oh, and this one's going to be very quick. Fairy. Impossible. The type doesn't exist. Now, you can technically do a Pseudomon type, I guess you call it. But if you do that, your options are basically limited to the Ralts, Merrill, and Jigglypuff lines plus Mawile. If you're going to do this, do it in Ruby version, because that's the only way you're going to get Mawile in a reasonable time. Now we get to the fighting type. This is going to be our first to go in the great category. They have great matchups throughout the game, except against Winona and Tate and Liza. Generally have high physical attack power, decently bulking, you lack special attack options and support. So this is very much a brute force type of team. I recommend Ruby version for this. And you want to start off with Torchic. You're going to get slightly better matchups against Team Magma rather than Team Aqua, and fighting Steven instead of Waltz with Blaziken is just easier. So, the team you're going to want is going to be Blaziken, Raloom, Hariyama, Machoke, or Machamp if you're able to trade, Heracross, and Metachan. Next we come to Fire-type. This is going in subpar. And the reason is poor-type coverage... Most fire types available are not especially fast. Lots of water types in the late game. You basically have to use Sunny Day to weaken them. And we're going to take Ruby version specifically with this because you don't want to fight Team Aqua and you don't want to have to fight any more water type trainers and you absolutely have to. So Steven is definitely the champion you want to fight. In fact, I can't even recommend a full team for this because several of the available fire types just suck. But I can recommend Blaziken, Camerupt, Torkoal, and Ninetales. And if you want to fill out your team, I guess you could throw in Combuskin and Vulpix. Now we move on to a much more, uh, well, much more interesting and versatile type, Flying. This is going to go on average. It has okay coverage, brutal matchups with Watson. That's the main reason this isn't in great. Because there's basically nothing you can do. But the game gets a lot easier after that. So, the recommended team for this is going to be 
Pelipper, Ninjask, Crobat, Tropius, Salamence, and Rayquaza. Yes, we're doing this in Emerald version. Ninjask is probably your best option to deal with Watson because, well, one, you're fast. Two, you get access to, uh, I think it's Mud Slap, which, hey, it's better than nothing for dealing with Magneton. Ghost type. Oh boy. This one. This is going to be difficult. And we're going to recommend Emerald version for this. Now, why is it difficult? The answer is because the battle with Roxanne is completely luck based. Because your only eligible Pokemon to start this off is Shedinja. I don't blame you if you defer evolving it and keep it as an Nincada for this fight. Just because of how ludicrously lucky you have to be to even get past that fight with Shedinja. In fact, the only other point Shedinja is going to be useful is going to be against Watson because you can completely no-sell his team. Except for Voltorb's rollouts. But as long as you knock out Voltorb with Sableye, which is going to be your main Pokemon for most of the run, you basically have it be in the shade. Also, you get access to Baina and Dustclops in Emerald version, whereas in Ruby and Sapphire, they would be version exclusive. Yep, this is not going to be a full team unless you also want to run Duskull and Shuppet. It sucks. Now we move on to Grass type. This is going to subpar. Now, you think, oh, late in the game, there's a lot of water types, right? Well, especially an Emerald version, which is what I recommend for this. But the reason it's in subpar, bad move sets, poor coverage, very bad defensive typing, and the big game is very, very difficult with Flannery and Winona. Especially Flannery with her overheat spamming Pokemon. Sunny Day is useful for this type of setup because a lot of Pokemon are chlorophyll and lets them use Solar Beam in one turn, but it also boosts Fire-type attacks, so be careful. The team I recommend for this is going to be Sceptile, Ludicolo, Breloom, Shiftry or Cacturn, Roselia or Vileplume, as largely a matter of preference there, and Tropius. Now we move on to something good, Ground-type. This is our first dominant type. Take a wild guess as to why. You get access to Swamper which is fucking overpowered. I recommend doing this in Ruby version because you'll also get access to something else. The recommended team I, I'm going to give you for this is Swampert, either Golem or Rhydon. Rhydon's easier to get, obviously, unless you're able to trade. Camerupt, Claydol, Flygon, and Groudon. That's the reason I didn't recommend Emerald version, because this way you get to use Groudon for your victory lap against the Pokemon League. And after that high point, unfortunately, we have to go back into the trough of another wave. Ice-type. It's impossible. You can't legitimately get ice-types until basically right before you're going to take on the 7th gym. But if you could, this would be under, under difficult because, well, it, one, it'll be a de facto solo run. And the most balanced star I would recommend for this hacking the steel. Move sets are limited. Your available Pokemon are very, very limited. In fact, there are precisely three fully evolved Pokemon you can use. Although under my rule set, you can also use Cast Form as long as you keep it in its Hail Form at all times. So that would give you four. And then I guess you could throw in Celio and Snow, uh, Snow Run. Your full team is going to be Walrein, Glalie, Regice. Again, cast form's optional. Do this in Ruby version because you'll have slightly better matchups against Team Magma and their ground types. Okay, now we're picking back up again. We're going on to normal type, and that's going to be in great. The only reason it's not dominant, in fact, is because of the really bad matchup against Roxanne early on in the game. Because you're just not going to have that many moves that could do a lot of damage to a rock types. But you get access to lots of different choices. They have great move pools. Learn almost every TM there is. And they're only weak to fighting types, which is only really going to be relevant against Brawly. And you can use Swallow or Talo to deal with him fairly easily anyway. So it doesn't really matter. Recommended team for normal type run. Now... We're going to assume that you're doing this in Ruby or Emerald version because of one Pokemon that, is going to, that I'm recommending. 
So your recommended team is Wynoon, Swallow, Exploud, Delcaddy, Slacking, or Zongoose. This is why I said Ruby or Emerald version, but if you're doing Sapphire, just use Slacking. It's okay. And Girafferink. Poison type. It's really a shame you don't have access to the Nidos in Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald because they are so good. But they're going to be an average in Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. Specifically, I recommend Sapphire or Emerald version. They don't have that many type weaknesses. They're generally pretty tanky. They have versatile movesets. But they tend to be a bit slow. And, again, just you don't have, you don't have Nido King or Nido Queen. That's really what makes this type worth using in Gen 3. So the team I recommend for the uh, Poison type is going to be Dustox, Tentacruel, Crobat, Vileplume, or Roselia, matter of preference, either Swallow, Weezing, or Muck in the next slot, and Saviper. Saviper being why I'm not recommending Ruby, because you can't get Saviper in that version. But now we move back up to Psychics, and these are going to be great. Mostly because of the raw power provided by Gardevoir, Kadabra, Alakazam, and Claydol, although their movesets are limited. You, in Emerald version, you get access to an Abra slightly earlier before fighting Roxanne. Plus, it lets you use post-game mods on Steven. However, there's important caveats. The Team Aqua grunts Poochiana in Petalburg Woods. Your only option is Ralts. And it does not learn any non-psychic type attacks by leveling up. This means you're going to have to use Struggle to get past it. Good luck. So, your final team is going to be Gardevoir, Kadabra, or Alakazam. If you're able to evolve it, great. If not, Kadabra's good enough by itself. Claydol, Giraffe Rig, Starmie, and Latios. Now we go back to another impossible type, Rock. And if it was possible to get a Rock type legitimately before the first gym, it would be under difficult. Because, well, they're slow, they have poor move pools, well, a couple of viable special attackers, extremely vulnerable to all the late game water types. This it, shit's gonna suck. I would recommend doing this in Ruby version because then at least you don't have to deal with Team Magma and the champion doesn't use water types. So, the team I'm going to recommend for this is going to be Golem or Rhydon. Again, depends on if you can trade Graveler or not. Agron, Nosepass, Armaldo, Relicanth, and Regirock. Now we come to Steel. So that's the ROM hack that I recorded for Eden Emerald. That's also impossible. If it was possible, it would be under subpar. I recommend doing it in Ruby version. Now, I recommend using Beldum as your starter, because that is the only way you're going to be able to use it before the post game. And, uh, well, this, it's a slow start is the problem. Also, generally not very good coverage unless you teach Aggron special attacks, because its special attack is very low. So, the recommended team for this is going to be Aggron, Mawile, this is the reason why I recommend Ruby version, so you can get Mawile earlier, although it is pretty crap. Scarmory, Magneton, and Registeel. Fortunately, we get to end this on a high note. Water type. Going right into Dominant. Once again, you get to use Swampert, but we're doing Sapphire version this time because instead of Groudon, you're going to get to use Kyogre. And Kyogre is even more broken. So, recommended team for this. Swampert, Lucolo, Tentacruel, Lantern, Starmie, and Kyogre. Now, that, so that's our list. We got a lot of good types, a couple of not-so-good types, and a few that are not possible without cheating. I could have gone a lot more depth with this. In fact, I wanted to, but this video would have been easily more than an hour long if I had gone into each Pokemon for each type and why I think they're useful or not. So I actually had to accept, excise that from my plan for this video. Um, so I'll also be doing one of these for Fire Red and Leaf Green, so stay tuned for that. If you like what you see, 
Uh, like, comment, subscribe, check out my Rumble page, and I will catch you all next time.